Hey Racer fans, today on the Racer Report, highlights from the game against Central Arkansas and a look ahead to this week's game at Missouri State. The Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher begins right now. Hi folks and welcome to Roy Stewart Stadium for the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher, Dave Winder, your host here, and uh, Coach and I are going to break down the first half here in just a moment, but first let's uh, just tell you where the Racers are going to be playing Saturday. It's Springfield, Missouri, going back over there for the first time since 2009, 7 o'clock game in Springfield, Missouri against Missouri State. We'll look forward to that, but first the coach joins us here right after practice on a Sunday evening here at Roy Stewart Stadium. It's kind of nice out here. It was a beautiful day Saturday, Coach. Um, a lot of missed opportunities, though. That's going to be kind of the theme as we look at the highlights here. Well, there's no question about it, Dave. Um, you know, it was a great crowd. We appreciate everyone coming out to the ball game. The weather was awesome, um, and it, it was. It was just a day that we we had an opportunity there several times, and, and we just couldn't finish the play. Well, Coach, we're going to pick it up here. It was it was already a seven nothing hole here. Uh, the Racers' defense forced a fumble here. Couldn't recover, but they did get a, a Central Missouri or Central Arkansas to uh, to punt it here, and then you guys go to work here in the first quarter. Well, we we were plagued by poor field position. Same thing happened to us at Florida State, and that was a nice catch there um, by Walter Powell. You see Josh Brown, number four. He's a guy that has really been playing well for us. Um, our defense um, did a great job all night of stopping the run. There's Quay Huzzy, 15, and Zach Ross, 96 on the tackle. Um, and then we get them in a third down situation, and um, guy just out jukes us, if you will, on, on the corner. And they go up 14 to nothing real early, and you can see why they're the 20th ranked team in the country. Well, you know, they had the momentum on their side at the start, and, uh, you know, offensively in the first half, you moved the ball. There's no question about that. Well, we, you know, I think we moved it well all night other than the first two possessions. And then the third possession, which we're watching now, we came out, we hit them. Um, Navar Griffin with a big ball over the middle. Um, we end up going for it on fourth down. Um, here's another fourth down conversion. We threw the throwback to Casey Brotman. Um, big conversion there, about a 15 yard gain um, that gets us in the red zone territory. Um, we come out with a little bootleg action. Great catch by Javante Trotter. He had 11 catches right. on the night um, and he didn't have any against Florida State. He really showed up and played well. Um, and then we get great block in there by Zach Littlefield and Drew Kelly on the left side. Um, and, and we take it in for the first touchdown of the season, Dwayne Brady. That's right. Uh, and a, a great crowd at uh, Roy Stewart Stadium that you'll see once we pan back here. And it's always great to, uh, to see Racer One take off around the track. Stella is the horse's name. Great to see uh, Racer One out there. So it's 14 to 7, uh, 12.02 to go uh, there in the second quarter. And uh, Brockman hits uh, Janowski Davis for a couple of nice plays here, yeah, 18 and 22 yards. Yeah, Janowski's a good player. He's a true freshman from Mobile, Alabama. Um, here, you know, but to me, this is another missed opportunity. Big play, but we got push up the middle. We couldn't lead him. We had to stop him. Um, if not, it would have been a it would have been a sure enough touchdown. And then we 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 got a sack and how we were close just, did that come? Yeah, it was like we a were foot. just a little out of um, Benton's. Um, range there, especially with that wind blowing in his face. A 43-yarder just comes up short. Again, another missed scoring opportunity. Well, and now we're going to move it up here, and this was a big play uh, after Central Arkansas had scored on a long play. Uh, then uh, Dontel Watkins, 70 yards. It, it looked like when he caught the ball, it was a bunch of bowling pins went flying, and he was the only one standing. <laughs> well, we had two guys <laughs> actually open. I don't know which one Casey was throwing to, but Dontel, he's a big play guy. Uh, made a big play there. Um, unfortunately, we missed the extra point. Um, so, you know, we're, we're still down, but we're battling. Um, and, and again, good good defense there, led by 39. Blake Salter, um, another Alabama native who has re replaced the injured Sam Small. Um, what you know, a play right here. That was yeah, a great interception. Great interception by Quay Huzzy. 
um, who has really been playing well. He played great at the end of last season and has um, picked up where he left off. Okay, so 6.14 to go before the half. You're right in the game, Coach. Uh, Casey's starting to get warmed up. He hits uh, Walter Powell here for a nice uh, gain of 12 yards. Uh, but then you tried the field goal, but then you faked it. Tell us about that play. Uh, well, we, we get down and, and we, again, we bogged down. We missed a wide open Javante Trotter for a touchdown. Um, we call for the fake kick, it was getting out of Benton's range. It's like 39 uh, messed it up there. Well, the we, well the we just didn't execute the play. We had it all blocked long enough to make it happen. But um, So we're down 28-13. Okay? Now, we're, now we're under two minutes to go. And um, we got the ball back. Here's a big play right here on third down to um, Patrick Robinson. Um, we get it down in here. You know, we're less than a minute to go in the game. We're in great shape. Um, and then we come out. Javante Trotter's open in the end zone off the play fake, um, but Casey doesn't see the middle linebacker. Yep. Um, they make the interception. So, you know, we go in at the half down 28 to 13, Dave. Um, missed a lot of opportunities. Um, fake field goal that was there. We didn't execute. Missed two wide open receivers. We throw the interception. We give up a few big plays on the, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but you know, we get the ball back to start the second half and boy, would that have been good to punch that last one in right. and only be down one score going into the half. Okay, so we're here at the half at Roy Stewart Stadium as uh, Coach Hatcher and I give you this week's racer report. We got the second half and it was an exciting second half. We'll do that next here on the racer report. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report here at Stewart Stadium with head coach Chris Hatcher. Big game this past Saturday, the Racers suffer a defeat against Central Arkansas. We're going to look at the exciting second half right now as the Racers uh, trailed at the half 28-13 to and, and had the ball first coach here to start the, uh, the third quarter. And that, that's what you're talking about. If you could have scored there before the half and then you have the ball start third quarter, it would have been different. Well, it could have been a whole different ball game, but we come out um, we, we, we get a, a good play here, a little dump pass on second down and five to Dwayne Brady. Uh, makes good yardage after the catch, and you know he's become a really good back for us. Even though we didn't run it as much the other night, we threw it 66 times. Um, but here, this was a big third down conversion, third and 10 to Javante Trotter on the little dig route over the middle. So we got some good things going. Um, second down play here, Casey Brotman gets a, a big first down on the draw. Helmet comes off, and um, did somebody take his helmet well, off? Well, that's just what come he off? was claiming. So we go in. Spencer Phillips was ready to go. He was in the bullpen. Uh, yep, he was ready, <laughs> and we hit Jordan Morrow. What a great move on the spin um, there off of the, the 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 running back screen. So now all of a sudden, hey, Jordan Benton adds extra point. 
28-20, and sure enough, we're right back in the thick of things. Certainly are. So this is now 11.45 to go in the third quarter, and the defense really rises up here, makes a big hit. Uh, Kamal Matthews, Quay Huzzy combined for that one, and then uh, Zach Ross makes a, makes a big hit here too. Yeah, we're, we're really playing good. Everything's coming um, just like we talked about at halftime. Um, you know, go down, score, get a big stop, um, which we did. And then, um, you know, we get the ball back and we, we start making a little noise um, here. Another, the quarterback draw was good to us all night. Casey picks up another first down, but um, we're forced to punt. And this was probably the turning point of the game. We get a low kick. Um, unfortunately, boy, we, we're right there. We got three guys in great position and um, they just out execute us and, and take it back to make it 35 to 20. And um, tell you what, that play, was probably the, the, the play that did us in. Yeah, that was the dagger. That came with 6.58 to go in the third, but still you're gonna see a, a racer team here put up a, a quite a fight. Uh, Brockman hit Walter Powell for 18 yards, but then uh, the racers uh, had, to, had to punt it away. And uh, then we're gonna move ahead. Nice catch here by Robertson. This was at the end of the third quarter. Uh, and you guys, like we said, uh, over 500 yards of offense, it wasn't because you weren't moving the ball. No, no, but the one to Pat, there was a big third down conversion coming off the goal line. Um, but we, we stalled again um, down there. And, you know, here we our defense again continues to play well. Tyler Evans ends up getting the sack. Um, big pass completion to Devontae Trotter. Um, again, I can't say enough about his play on the course of the night. Um, nice curl route there to Walter Powell. We're still in it. We're only two scores down now. Right. They get face masks. So we got first um, and, and, and goal from the five yard line, Dave. And um, we come out of there and, and um, we end up here. This is the first first and goal. Right yeah, here. we make a bad decision here. We don't, we, we actually had a guy open. Casey didn't see him. And then we just force one in the end zone for an interception. And you just can't do that. You, you know, that was just um, a tough play. But um, on the fourth down here, we get the ball back, still only down two and scores. And this was after a great defensive stop to get you the ball back. Yep, um, you know, we, we, we convert, and um, now we hit Dwayne Brady again. Hey, um, you know, there's still about nine minutes to go in the ball game, and we're only down two scores. So things are still looking good. Um, again, another big catch. I tell you, Walter Powell does such a good job, number nine there, um, with yards after the catch. Um, we try a little hitch and go, and then this was pretty much the end of the ball game. Um, we force one in there, they pick it off, and um, now we're just, um, you know, we're just trying to let we anything thought, get happen. We thought happen. maybe, maybe here they would just uh, give it to us on, on the doorstep. <laughs> uh, the ball was loose, uh, but the ra racers couldn't recover it, and uh, uh, Central Arkansas was able to, uh, to run out, I guess, about the last three minutes of the game. Uh, and, and coach, uh, you know, you're at home, it's a 42-20 it's a uh, final, and uh, you, your, your team played a valiant game, but there was just those things that didn't go your way. And I just kept feeling like most of the night, if you could just get even, then the momentum was gonna turn to the racers, but uh, you know, just it just never could get even with, we, we, with the We Bears. got down so early in the game and just couldn't, um, couldn't make a, a play, like you said, to, to catch back up. Turnovers did us in. You know, we had a turnover on the five yard line, had one on the goal line, and had one on the 15 yard line. And um, you know, when you run 97 plays for over 500 yards, usually that equals a lot more points than 20. Um, so unfortunately, we didn't execute didn't finish the plays that needed to be finished. Okay, well, we're not done breaking down the events of Saturday here at Roy Stewart Stadium. We're gonna take another break with head coach Chris Hatcher here on the Racer Report. When we come back, we'll hear some of the key players involved in Saturday night's game. We'll do that next. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics.
explore a new world. You guys have a lot of experiences. Come and make your own place. Let's go to the world of Ukusanga. The world of new experiences. Let's go to the world of new experiences. Let's go to the world of new experiences. Let's go to the world of new experiences. Chang Chow, Lady Dick May Lai. Ferdas Favelin Kavilago. Tất cả những điều tốt đẹp nhất đang chờ đón bạn. Dunia Anda untuk dijelajahi. Thanh xuân đã xuất hiện. Murray State University, your world to explore. We're back here in the race report with head coach Chris Hatcher. It was a tough defeat for the racers here at Roy Stewart Stadium on Saturday night. Brooke Santanello takes a look at some of the key plays and talks to some of the key players. The Racers' home opener, starting with their 40th season at Roy Stewart Stadium, was played on a perfect evening, but at the end of the day, it was a game where MSU could never get anything into high gear. Central Arkansas put the Racers in an early 14-0 hole, and eventually the Bears led the Racers 28-7. When Casey Brockman hit Dante Watkins for a 70-yard scoring play with 8.47 left in the second quarter, the Racers had some momentum heading into the second half, down 28-13. But mistakes on special teams and inside the red zone hurt the racers and kept them from their first victory of the season. When the day was through, the racers had outgained Central Arkansas 537 yards of 423. But that was a little consolation to Quay Huzzy and Casey Brockman. After the game, they talked about correcting their mistakes and moving forward to better outcomes next week. Uh, really, um, we just... Uh... We in the locker room. Uh, we, we didn't make no corrections on defense. I don't know what the offense did, but we just had to uh, learn how to, you know, maintain, be more disciplined, and uh, not learn how to beat ourselves. And once we do that, we'll be a, we'll be a great team. I mean, before the game, everybody decided, obviously, for the challenge and the you know, opportunity to go face one of the top teams in our division. And, and afterwards, I mean, just one of those games that you feel like we just left a lot of plays out there. And, you know, really just beat ourselves. That's just the best way we can really put it. You know, um, so. It's the mood in the locker room was you know, pretty devastated and, and I just kind of look back and just miss way too many opportunities. We're here on the field after a disappointing 42-20 to loss against Central Arkansas. Miscues and missed opportunities were the biggest reason for the racers' defeat tonight. They'll look to get back in the win column next week against Missouri State on the road and then we'll be back here September 29th against Tennessee Tech for a family weekend. For the Racer Report, I'm Brooks Santanello. Back to you, Dave. Okay, thanks, Brooks. Uh, the Racers back at home here September 29th against Tennessee Tech. Brooks mentions it's family weekend. We'll look forward to that coming back here. Coach, you just finished practice here on a Sunday night as we uh, tape our program. How was the Sunday practice? I thought we had good energy. Um, you know, our guys understand we've played two very good opponents. We played the now the <laughs> fifth-ranked team and, right. and the BCS, and we played the 20th-ranked team. Um, at, at the FCS level. So we've, we've had a very tough go at it early. Um, you know, take the Florida State game, move it out of the way. You know, we, we, we thought we went shoe to shoe with a very good football team, a team um, that, you know, is the Southland Conference champions. Uh, they make the playoffs. They beat our champion last year, beat them soundly. And, you know, other than a, a couple defensive plays, we were there to make it, but we didn't make the play. And offensively, again, missed opportunities in the red zone. You know, that, that game could have been an entirely different ball game. So I really think that we're close. I think our team believes that we're close. We just have to clean some things up. And I, I don't know that the scores of the, pre, the first two games are indicative of what type of racer team um, is yet to be seen this upcoming year. But um, this next game's a big one because it's the one we played yeah, this week. Right. Um, but more importantly, we need to have some success and finish a ball game and play really well for 60 game minutes. Well, we're early in the season still. We've still got all this OVC play still to come and the racers trying to build towards that. So their next opportunity is at Missouri State Saturday. It's a seven o'clock kickoff in Springfield, Missouri. I understand they're gonna have fireworks after the game Saturday. Uh, we're, and we're going to have fireworks here, our next home game as well. But we'll look forward to that, and we're going to take another break here on the Racer Report. When we come back, we'll look ahead and see what the other group of Bears have that the Racers will play this Saturday. We'll do that next here on the Racer Report. Explore a new world. You guys have a lot of experience. Come and make your own place. Let's go to the world of Ukusanga. The world of Jadir and the world of the world. And take it away. The world of the world is the world. Chang Chow, Lady Dick May Lai. Ferdas Favelin Kavilago. All the things that are the best that are waiting for you. The world is waiting for you to be able 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 to be. Murray State University, your world to explore.
Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hey Racer fans, don't forget to check out the homepage of the Murray State Racers. You can get all you want about Murray State football. We got press conference videos, we got highlight videos. This show can be seen anytime you want. It's at the home of the Murray State Racers, GoRacers.com. And we're here with head coach Chris Hatcher at Stewart Stadium, which this is the 40th year of football at this uh, stadium as the game was played on Saturday night. But coach, you've got a very good opponent that you're going up against Saturday night, seven o'clock, Missouri State at home. Uh, the last time these two teams got together, it was that historic homecoming game, 2010, 72 to 59. The Racers won that. Uh, are we up for anything like that again? I don't know. Well, <laughs> if we come out on top, if we got the 72, um, we'll take it right now and not even play the game. But um, that was a, a, a monumental win for our team. You know, we had um, just, that was Casey Brotman's first start. Uh, His um, coming out party, um, you so know, to speak. For, since we were the, the, the coaches and right. um, had a great day. You know, old, uh, Marcus Harris caught a lot of balls, um, had over 200 yards um, receiving, and Mike Harris had over 200 yards rushing, and I think we threw for over 500 yards. It was just a, a – I've never been in a game quite like that, especially that didn't go into overtime. Um, but, you know, you, you play Missouri State, and, again, like any week, um, you're more concerned about yourself. And I was concerned headed into this week what our mentality would be like um, because I, I really felt that we had a chance to beat Central Arkansas, even though they're a mighty good opponent. I mean, you know, they possibly could be the best team we played at, or play all season at this level. Right. So, um, you know, it was a good measure and stick for us. And we talked about it. The difference in Central Arkansas and us was they made more of the breaks than we did through the course of the game. This week, we got to get back on track. We're going to see a little bit of a different style of defense, more of a three-man front this week. Um, so, you know, that's, there's going to be a little learning curve for our guys there. Offensively, um, you can expect a wide-open attack from Missouri State. Um, so we got to go down and, 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 and play um, a more complete game. You know, run defense, we've been doing a really good job. Um, we got to get it bone up our pass defense because right. they're going to get we're going to get tested again this week. And then the all important special teams. Um, boy, I think we're we're better than we were last year, but we're still making some silly mistakes. So it's going to be a tough game. We got a long road trip ahead of us going to play at a place that um, I think 90% of our guys have never been before. Um, I believe, you know, they play two Division I teams. They're 0-2, we're 0-2. Somebody's going to get their first win this weekend, and hopefully it'll be us. Yeah, something, so something's got to give. Uh, Missouri State played Kansas State, 51-9 loss, and then last week played Louisville, 35-7. to So they've played up for, for two weeks, and this is their home opener. Like I said, they're having fireworks at the game, so they're going to have a big crowd, and we'll look forward to it. Uh, the, the, the third game of the season, and then it's uh, two OVC opener at Eastern Illinois and then back here on the 29th. We're going to take our final break here in the Racer Report here from Stewart Stadium. We'll come back and wrap it up with head coach Chris Hatcher next on the Racer Report.
like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Back here at Roy Stewart Stadium to wrap things up on this week's race report with uh, head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach, uh, we had a tremendous atmosphere here uh, Saturday night. Great to see almost 10,000 fans come out to the game. Great to see Racer One running around the track Saturday. Well, I wish Racer One could have run a little bit more, but it was good to see a, a good crowd. We had some great tailgate and the atmosphere was very nice. Great night to play football. Unfortunately, um, I don't think we played the best that we could possibly play. And, um, and, you know, I want to tell the fans out there, you know, I still think we got a great team. I really do. It's just, you know, we've played some tough opponents. We're not quite there yet but there's still a lot of season left to be played. It's similar to last year a little bit because, you know, the, the team at the end of the last year was playing really good at the end. It's well, a building I, thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <clears throat> I think so. And I think part of it is, you know, the first two years and, and now going into year three, um, all the, the toughest teams have been right at the beginning right. of the season. And, you know, it takes you a little while to, to find out who you are, especially when you're a program like us that's, that's built and is on the rise, you know, we don't have a whole lot of depth and a whole lot of people coming back. You know, we're, we're counting on a lot of newcomers playing, so you really don't know what you got until you go play a game. Right, right. Well, you haven't played any cupcakes so far. There's no and doubt about it. You're not going to play a cupcake this week either. It doesn't get any easier. <laughs> okay, well, we'll look forward to the game Saturday in Springfield, Missouri at Missouri State, and we'll come back uh, next week and we'll, uh, we'll have highlights and all that too. So, Coach, thanks for stopping by Thank after you, practice uh, here tonight at Roy Stewart Stadium. So uh, that's all the time we have for this week. We'll see you next week, and as we leave you today, here is the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. That's Brady standing in. He gets the call off tackle left side and he's in. A three yard touchdown. It's a big hole for the Rangers. Down by three touchdowns already. Brogman rolls to his right, throws the deep ball, and it is caught at the 30, 20, 15, 10. Touchdown. One play, and the Rangers go boom. Dontel Watkins with the catch. Set. Snap back. Smothers has it. Wants to throw. Looks to run, throws across the middle, had his man in and out. It did pop up off a Central Arkansas player, and it's an interception for the Racers. Play after the Racers picked up the first down. Phillips throws left side. It's a catch, spin move, 10, 5, touchdown! My goodness, what a play by Morrow!